Hello ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? My name is Will Zulu. I'm going to share with you today how to make tempered chocolate from scratch. The only thing you need when making tempered chocolate, and this is essential, a cooking thermometer. As long as you've got one of these at your disposal, you'll, you'll have no problems. So ladies and gentlemen, to temper your chocolate, it's very simple and straightforward if you follow these steps I'm about to share with you today. So first, you're going to find your chocolate chocolate. That's going to make it a lot easier to temper because it's going to melt a lot faster. If you don't do the step, if you leave chunks, it's going to take the chocolate a lot longer to melt. In turn, it may result in you overheating the chocolate, which is not ideal. Now we're going to start melting the chocolate in a bain-marie until it reaches 45 degrees Celsius. If you don't know what a bain-marie is, it's just a pan with some simmer water in, and the bowl just hovers over the top. Make, but make sure the water does not touch the bottom of the bowl. That will get the chocolate too hot, which will mean that it won't temper correctly. So this is very important, you want the pan over very low heat, you want to gently melt the chocolate because if it's too hot, you risk the chocolate burning. And make sure you stir the chocolate on a regular basis so it has a constant temperature throughout. And I'm using dark chocolate today, so as I said before, I'm melting it to 45 degrees Celsius. But if you wanted to use milk chocolate, it is exactly the same as dark, melt it to 45 degrees, but white chocolate is 40 degrees Celsius. Now this stage we're going to let the chocolate cool down to 27 degrees Celsius. If you wish, you could pop it in the fridge, speed the cooling process up. But just keep an eye on it, you don't want the temperature going below 27 degrees. Now guys, once the chocolate has cooled down to 27 degrees Celsius, you want to reheat the chocolate over the bain again until it reaches 32 degrees Celsius, but no higher. Now ladies and gentlemen, the chocolate is ready to play with and use, but you can't be messing around at this moment in time, you've got to be organised. So as it's Easter time, I'm making Easter chocolate eggs. It's something fun to make over the Easter weekend. Once you fill the mould, pour it out over a wire rack like I'm doing here, but place it over a tray so you can catch all the excess. Once you've done that, don't worry if it's not perfect. You're going to use an offset spatula to smooth it out like I'm doing here. And if there are some thick patches, just use an offset spatula to smooth it out. Press up the sides. And the excess that's dripped out into the tray, you can easily reuse it. Just scrape it off the tray into the bowl that you melt the chocolate in, in the first place and just let it cool and you can easily re-temper it later or just eat it, wherever you wish. Now just put the mold into the fridge to allow the chocolate to set. It will only take about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes or so, if it hasn't set, just leave it in for a bit longer until it has, then release it from the mold like I'm doing here. This is the exact reason why I like to use silicon mold. It makes it much easier to release the chocolate from the mold. Once you've popped them out of the mold, if you want to fill the eggs with anything, this is the time to do it. Now ladies and gentlemen, the way to click the two shells together is melt the, the rim a little bit until it starts to melt, then simply connect the two shells together. The melted chocolate is going to act like a glue, so it's going to stick them together. Once you've done that, you're just going to put the chocolate eggs into the fridge, that's just going to make them set faster. And there you go ladies and gentlemen, that's how you temper chocolate. If you didn't want to make eggs, you can make these the bunnies. Just a bit of fun. I hope you give it a shot. If you do give it a go, then you post it on Instagram and tag me in at WillZillowX. My Instagram is on the screen now if you wanted to check that out. And that being said, if you enjoyed this video and you're listening, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.